That's the first time I ever tried Scrapple. Was doing oh, that walk of shame at like six in the morning. We're all still wasted. I'm like, all right, let me give Scrapple a try. What's going on, man? How's it hanging? Not too much. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody I want to see elbows and assholes on that like button and shit on the toilet for subscribing. Well said. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> yeah, I got tried. Too hard. You, you know what? You tried and, and you succeeded in my book. All right, again. And that's, that's a very easy book to get into, so. Yeah, it's not even a book. It's an iPad. It is. You're absolutely right. Here's my iPad. You write onto an iPad. Yeah. And then it's your writing in an iPad, so it's not even a notepad. It's... Yeah, no. It, I mean, it is a notepad. It even looks like a notepad. Look, see, I, I fool myself. That's what's so great about it. Right? Technology. Uh, except for all the, the trees you're not killing. That and, yeah, fucking, oh, it's dead. I can't write anything. Putting the pencil industry out of business. Fuck. Um, all right, real quick, <laughs> I want to I wanna uh, just address the elephant in the room here. Uh, I don't know if you can see my face has all these red marks on it. Can you can you see my face is all red right there? I don't know. Whatever. I can see it, and it's bothering the shit out of me, and my face burns. Uh, I went and got a haircut today, and a beard trim, except okay. I got a I got razor burn and a fucking haircut that I don't like. Um, told oh. this guy, I'm like, I want I want a little off the top. I just want to clean it up. I want to let it grow. I want to clean this up. I'm letting it grow. And he basically just shaved back here. He used a straight edge with no fucking shaving cream or anything on my face. And then he didn't get cut, the hot towel and the warm back. I did the hot dog. towel afterwards. So it was like, here's razor burn. Now here's a hot towel. I was like, oh my God. It's like fucking acid, man. God damn. Yeah. No, it but was that's, not isn't a, that your regular spot? Well, it it's my backup spot from my normal spot. I usually go to, the, go to this place, Stash. And Way up in like wherever. They're up in Union. Yeah. They're like, uh, I think yeah. Kenilworth or Roselle or something like that. But. It's like I go there, and it's like I—I I don't know. They're all like very sportsy up there and shit, and they—I'm not not big into sports, you so, know? You're so tired. I just kind of like tired of their conversation. Like, hey, I can tell you about that new i7 uh, IBM computer chip, <laughs> you know. But I—I I can't. I'm, I can't even fake it. So the guy, <laughs> I went there once, and the guy was like, uh, he knows I don't, you know, I'm not into that, and he's like. Uh, so you see any good Marvel movies lately? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, oh yeah, fucking uh, uh, go off on that. Right, He's like, fucking like nerd. Like, uh, books? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about yeah. that internet? That's yeah. still there, right? <laughs> yeah, but so anyway, I, I stopped going to that place for a bit. And, I, and I, I would go to this place if the other guy was booked at Stash. So I'd go to this place and I actually started going there a lot more often because... They just talk about whatever. It's really cool. They're they're chill. Um, they're in. They're really into whatever. It's 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 awesome. It's nice. But I I haven't found like my barber there yet. So usually okay. when I go, I just do like whoever's available because you know it's on my time. I want to get this done as fast as possible on my schedule. The so they last, stick you with whoever. Yeah, the last time I went uh, to a place that actually specializes in uh, beard grooming. Uh, they did, you know, all the normal stuff. And then I, I picked the, the lady and she, she went around and, uh, didn't use a straight razor, but use like a derma blade, which is like what chicks use to like get their, their face. Their no, 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 no. This is like, oh, a they don't face. use them for their it's for eyebrows and faces. It's like a, it's like a straight razor, but a little more, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just mm. know that Rebecca's got one and she's done it to me. And then she went around and popped a bunch of blackheads and then like, you know, scrubbed my face with a cleaner. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, shit. I didn't expect that for a beard trim. Yeah. And uh, I, I, that was, it was good. It was good. Maybe I'll, maybe you might be interested in that. 
I'll, I'll tell you about it, you know, later. Yeah. So back to my story. Um, okay. <laughs> While I hijack it, derail it. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I started, I had a, I had a backup barber that I would go to and, and it's one of those, like I said, you just, you don't care who you want. I haven't figured my guy out yet or whatever. And I, I've gotten this guy before and I should have known when I saw his name come up for the appointment, I should have been like red flag, but totally forgot. So I get there and yeah, he, 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 I told him I didn't want that much off. I just want it this. And he fucking like set me back two months on my head and did nothing other than burn my face with acid. That's the only way I could describe it. So I made a note. I told Annie, I'm like, write this down. I will never go to Raul again. <laughs> Do not use Raul. She's like noted. No Raul. Wait, did, did she actually write it down or is it in her memory? And you're like, I'm booking a hair appointment. And well, she's like, no Raul. <laughs> her memory is way better than mine. So yeah, she'll remember. And she most likely wrote it down. Well, she's also got it in text message, so it's kind of, I wrote it down too. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have to. You but yeah, anyway, uh, long story short, razor burn, you know, for our negative 28 viewers that watch this or listen, this is razor burn. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at I guess it, you were wondering. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to like change lighting in here and shit and it, nah. No, I just like, yeah, green screen. I need, I need, I need the green screen to look good. So whatever. Cause I'm stupid. Anyway, what's going on with you, man? You were uh, changing brakes and stuff today. Uh, yet again, I just can't stare at the vehicles I have sitting on my property and not like try to do something to them every day. Yeah. In fact, even, you know, my really good mechanic buddies who are some of my best friends as well. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like kind of their policy. Like, and don't just look at it, like try to do something. So I tried, I tried to fucking wrench on it again today. And, uh, I made, I made a little bit of progress. So, you know, every day it's a little bit more and I'm limping around. So I can't do, you know, everything I want to do in like a half an hour. I also don't have all the tools to do it, you know, yeah. speedy. And I'm not going to spend the money because, you know, I've been, I've been fucking broke with this, uh, with this foot thing going on. This is what week five you're going on now. That's yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, yep. You yeah. said four to six weeks. Well, it actually turns out that it's like six to 12 weeks. Oh, uh, but they, they, nobody knows, you know, some people are doctors don't know. Yeah. But then the doctor, then the, the, the foot specialist is like, well, you're not an athlete. And I'm like, well, what do you, does that mean I don't get special treatment or I just heal slower? And he's like, eh, it's, it's kind of both. You should have slapped him and said, what the fuck does that mean? I'm not an athlete. I'm a fucking mathlete. You're not an athlete. You're a doctor. <laughs> You're doctor. not a doctor. <laughs> oh my God. What is that? <laughs> doctor of lies. Oh man. There's, there's <laughs> Never mind. It's like, you're, you're not a. You're not a knife. You're a spoon. Like it's like Bart Simpson goes to Australia in an episode of The Simpsons, and he plays knifey spoony with some Australian guy, and he's like, oh, "That's not a knife. That's a spoon." I see you played knifey spoony before. All right, whatever. You know what? Just erase everything I just said and run the clip. <laughs> Play the clip where Bart Simpson says that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here it is. Oh man, that was hilarious, knifey spoony in Australia. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, no, it's not that either. Oh, it's, wrong uh, clip. It's, Sorry. It's oh no, it's that's still pretty right. <laughs> but it's uh it's the <laughs> it's the soap commercial with the dude with the long hair and the beard. He's like, You're not a dish, you're a man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. It's this I think it's the Sasquatch Sam Squatch soap. The, the soap where... It's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like the first dish, one. You're a yeah. man. You're not a dish. You're a man. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. yeah. So. Play it now. Oh, that was a funny Sasquatch commercial. <laughs> uh, in case anyone didn't know. I mean, but that thing... <laughs> Look at that. We can't even cue this stuff up, man, because it just... We, Dude, that, you don't even need the cue. I, I do all that in editing. It's It's great. Oh, let me just look at it. Like you even jam on the keyboard. Like I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah. And then hit the enter and that's my cue. And then boom, it cl cuts to the video. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, helped out some 
my family, Rebecca's dad, they got a car that the dealership told them it, they were going to have to replace all the brakes in the car. It was going to cost a thousand dollars. And I was like, you just need brake pads. Mm -hmm. Rebecca helped me do it. It was really fun because she got to help do all the heavy stuff, like pick up the wheels, jack the car up. And I got to show her how to do all that. So we were like a mechanic team today. And it was yeah. like one of those like bonding moments, like we're helping our family. Like normally I just do all that. And everyone's just like, yeah, thanks for nothing. There's no money. <laughs> like you're our son-in-law. Why yeah. we pay you? But now she's like, yeah, well, this is, this is hard work. I'm all covered in grease and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, do favors for people. It's, it's not free. We wasted half our afternoon today doing that. You, you made me think of something when you said that, um, whoever quoted them, what, how much money was it? Like a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. Like you, you, you said that, and I'm like, dude, that's fucking. See, people take advantage of old people, and then it, it got me to thinking down this rabbit hole of, even though he's a fictional character, that's why I respect Saul Goodman because he stood up for those old people, and he would have been someone who would have who would have stood behind and helped your mother and father in law out before they got raped by. The fucking big brakes, the big brakes, big brakes, man. <laughs> oh, they need brake pads. Give them rotors and lines too. Just yeah. Run, run a train on these old people. No, I don't know if they just do that for old people or everybody in general, because to be honest, if your rotors are a little bit worn, it's a good idea to change them. You know, every mechanic's probably going to tell you just, you know, when it comes to safety, there's no cutting corners. Mm -hmm. So, did they need rotors? Maybe 40% yes. But no. Not really. Not enough. So they're 40% yes, but you should 100% hit that like button and 1,000% bang on that subscribe thing. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So where are we at here? We gonna are we gonna show this uh, weird wide web clip of more robots getting destroyed? You want to just get that out of the way? We could just we could just bang it out of the way, and then we'll uh, we'll move into our uh, our guest for the evening. He's patiently waiting. Let's, he is patiently uh, waiting. He's he's looking. He's, like he's not enough back there. I um, know it's this well, is terrible. But all right, yeah, all right. Let's bang we'll get that, him in here. Bang that video button, Mike. All right, so we're gonna bang that that stream button here, and we're gonna bring that in. So. What is this? What am I looking at? It's a flatbed. Just let, just let it play. Just, just let it play. That's Send it. it. You're just gonna let it ride. I, that, I don't have to explain it. So, well, maybe okay. afterwards. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh man, another one of them food delivery robots. Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I had to watch it like twice before. I'm like, is that like a cargo compartment or a baby carriage? And I'm like, oh no, it's one of those delivery robots. You know what though? Even if it was a baby carriage, which I'm glad it wasn't, that, that thing with that thing took a beating and and kept going. So I would totally, I would, I would say, hey, my baby would be safe in that. Right, I but would. it's just a, uh, it's one of those. Uh, I don't know where they're doing. I think they're testing it out in California, probably. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of I that's happening on the West it, Coast. This is the second time we're we're showing one of these where <laughs> it just keeps going. You gotta end it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I was just, I, was, I could have stared at that all day, man. <laughs> <laughs> it got caught up in between the wheels of the, the trailer. It's, uh, I don't know, it just amuses me, because, like, you know, yeah, that that's that's going to happen. But, dude, the, the how strong that thing was, like, it, it got back up on all its wheels, and it was ready to, to deliver food, or babies, <laughs> no, I, whatever was in there. We don't even know the, uh, whether the, it was operable after that, but. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? That they cut that video off too early. If if anybody yeah. out there of our negative uh, 128 uh, viewers are watching, if you can find the rest of that video, uh, send it to uh, to Ron at dot com. Yeah, that's a website. It is now on All right. the uh, yeah on the uh, actually it's on it's on CompuServe. You got to get the CompuServe. old 286 computer booted up and. But you, you know. can only do it with a Juno account. Uh, no, that's way too late. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a guest, the first ever guest on with Mike and Rad. He goes back with us a 
bunch of years. And I mean like a bunch, a bunch. Probably like what? Over Two a decade? Bunches. Two bunches? Yeah. What's a bunch? What is a bunch? Hold on. <laughs> Here comes our guest. What is a bunch? Two is is a couple. Yeah. Three is a, uh, a few, right? What's Four is a bunch? quadriplegic. Is I would say it's somewhere between five and seven based on banana law. You know, how many banana law is uh, get yeah. in a bunch? It's somewhere between like five, five. Five or more is a bunch. So, yeah, so two. I like the two bunches. Okay, so anyway, long, yeah. long segue yeah. off of that. Really accurate. We've known this guy for two bunches of years. <laughs> in banana years. <laughs> and some crazy shit has happened since then. Uh, he's a dear friend and a great compadre. We're going to bring him on. Here he is, Edwin Davila. Hello, hello. Hello, Eddie. What's up going on, guys? Yo. Welcome to With Mike and Rad. Glad to be here. What's going on, man? Uh, you know, uh, living the dream, working, taking care of two kids, living life. Living life, getting by, surviving. Yeah, pretty much. That's what we're all doing. We're all surviving on this crazy blue planet. Just spinning. Hurtling into nothingness. Thousands and millions of miles a minute. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Most likely into a black hole at some point. Eddie, fill um fill the cats in that don't watch this show in how we uh how we got got together. How we how we wow. All right. met on this crazy you planet. Remember the first time we came and hung out and met you guys? It yes. was most definitely a party. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it was always it was party. always a party. It was always a party. Um it, it really was. I wanna say, let's see. I was, well, 22 years old, 22, 23. So we're going back 14 years. So definitely two bunches of bananas. Yeah, we got that. Um, but I remember the first time I met Mike, um, uh, Bray introduced you. And mm -hmm. I remember Jimmy and Lou were there. And they were like, they said, hey, this is noobs. She said, this is noobs. They're like noobs, and I remember they tried to joke that noobs rise with pubes. Yep. And then I was like, "What?" I was like, "No, but it rises with boobs too." And I like hyped you up. Mm -hmm. So I remember that was like one of the first interactions between us. Yeah, and noobs rise with pubes. That's a great way to to meet people. Hey, oh <laughs> for real. Right, I was yeah. like, "Why?" I was like, "Why are you trying to insult this man right here?" Yeah, no. But that, that was, was cool. That was, was Jimmy, cool about it. That was Jimmy and Lou, though. You know. Yeah. You, you grew to know them. Know them. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy right here, Ren. Um. I remember him sliding down the stairs on his forearms and pretty much his shins with nothing else on besides like a, a windbreaker and just full that's, speed down the stairs. It was that's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. The necessary uh, barrier between uh, bur friction burns was the, the yep. it was winter. So it was like had, had, the, sli had the slickness to it too. Yeah, yeah, and then and everybody then, else started doing it. Once they saw they're like, I was successful at it, like the girls were doing it too. They were like, Oh, oh we're going down the stairs. And I was I'm actually like, talking about you with a coworker, uh, not yesterday, the day before. And uh when you used to be able to kick yourself in the head and then double kick with your two with both feet. It was like the party trick. Yeah, yeah. Good times, good times. I, I could have been on a, a stupid human tricks uh uh, thing the uh, New Jersey 1015 was doing. Mm -hmm. uh, this was like four years ago. I called in and I was like, "Yeah, I can kick myself in the head." And and the guy's like, "I wonder how that even works." And then <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, I can do it with both feet." And he's like, "Whoa, now my mind is blown." But then yeah. I showed up. <laughs> oh man, you should have. I, I could have won a hundred bucks. Yeah, that would have been uh, crazy. If they ever do it again, I'll, I'll I can still do it, Eddie. I'll, I'll still do it. Well, not now. <laughs> I'm only gonna do it for money, though. Only paid. <laughs> you gotta. Only you have to. You have to heal first. Yeah, you know, I can't. I definitely can't do it with this. Just thing. one foot. One foot. Could you support yourself with a crutch on that one and do it with your left foot or your other opposite foot? That is. That is entirely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. If you you, you said yeah like that, I wouldn't. I would not doubt you. <laughs> I, I, I think I should get some down right now, but. 
Should I get uh, some light going in here? I don't know. Out here. I'm on my porch, so. Oh, that's right. Hold, hold on a dark second. Out. Is hold it dark? Yeah. It's getting dark. We're in the same time zone, similar yeah. geography. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I actually have something to pull up here real quick. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> this and, was on and, YouTube. Wait, wait. Before, I didn't you, know. before you even play it, oh baby, I like your raw is playing in the background. Oh shit. Uh I guarantee it is, it. I'll have to I'll have to mute the audio if it, I think it is. It is. Um all right. Just so let, it, I'm gonna let it go and then you just All right, yeah. Whatever. Make me do, make me do an in post, sure. There's Eddie in the background. Picking his nose. There's Jimmy. Look how young we were. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Look at me. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, he's setting up. Oh, my God. A double kick. It's so hard to see what I actually did. <laughs> oh, and he does it with the helmet backwards. I don't know how that made it any better. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. The crowd, the is, crowd equally is excited this day. <laughs> wow, I had no hair. Nope, like you were going into military academy. <laughs> oh, my God. That is, that is incredible. Wow. I'm actually more... I look like a an old a completely Jerry different completely different person in that video. From from then till now, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, everybody. Big you difference. guys are pretty. I had I had I had hair. Well. I had a lot of hair. <laughs> but uh, so getting back to um, <clears throat> so we 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 discussed how we met. We showed the rad Ron kicking himself in the head. So that was kind of a, a small, tiny little preview of how the parties were at 318. Oh, yeah. I mean... So they were they were pretty insane. Insane. Oh, we, we've, we had King Athlons. We had Mardi Gras parties. My 25th birthday, which was epic. Were you there for, were you there for that when the, when the police came? Trenton police? Probably. I mean, the police came Which a bunch time? of times. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, glow, the glow stick party where everything was like painted and everything was glowing, like black lights. Was the, and... was the, um, was the beer pong table hanging from the ceiling? Uh, I was most likely I there. I, I can, I can only, ima I can't imagine I wasn't there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you were. I can't remember it, but I it was, can't it was imagine either, I wasn't there. Well, it was either you or Zanzibar. So. Well, that's, yeah, that's, well, then in that case, I wasn't there. Zanzibar yeah, was there. Zanzibar was. For all but, that um, don't know, that's that's my alter ego um, when I mix vodka and Red Bull, but that's for a different time. That's a good Just, way to explain yeah. it. He was mostly there at these parties. He crashed them a lot. Oh, yeah, it was fun, though. Yeah. Especially that Tickle Me Elmo. That was, oh, uh, yeah. Classic. That never, was all Zanzibar. Never, never a dull moment with Zanzibar. Never a dull moment when, uh, when your alter ego steals a tickle me Elmo doll off of someone's porch and then lights it on fire, just to see its insides. It was, it was pretty gnarly though. Honestly. It was like the Terminator melting. I don't think I and there's that one. wait, wait, and you could be like, and there's the pick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Terminator. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Glowing red Great eye time. and shit. It's Elmo. Yeah, we've had a lot of epic parties there, man. Halloween parties all the time. And remember we had Halloween in July when I was Shrek for some mm -hmm. reason. And yeah. I was just sweating my green face paint off all night. Yep. And then fun fun times. Fast food safaris the following morning. Oh my god, fast food safaris. Or go into uh was it Pat's diner and drinking because mm -hmm. they right had around a, the corner, right? The, yeah, they had the they had the bar. You can order drinks at ten thirty in the fucking morning for some reason. Yep. Because it's train. You having having an omelet with a long island iced tea and fucking shit faced again. That's great. That's the first time I ever tried Scrapple. Was oh, doing Scrapple. that walk of shame at like six in the morning. We're all still wasted, and I'm like, all right, let me give Scrapple a try. I, a pig, put it in a can, Scrapple. I just I didn't couldn't get it. get it. Yeah, I know. I just didn't right. get it. Maybe I don't know if that if if you know a place that has Scrapple that's like the 
best, I, I would retry it again now. I mean, I could pretty much eat any over. kind of scrapple. <laughs> Maybe being hung over like ruined it for me, but it could have. Uh, that's that is like such a Philly, uh, South Central Jersey, Philly Metro area thing. Is like the scrapple. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, a texture thing. You got to fry the shit out of it. It's got. I think it's got to be just cooked right. Like if it's dried out too much, maybe it's not right. I don't know. Yeah, like, you gotta you gotta have a good crust on it, and like scrapple, you can mess it up, but it's pretty. What's good. the best scrapple you got? I'd, I'd rather eat. I'd rather. I'd rather eat bacon anyway. But I mean, do you have like a? It, it, would can you make it? Have you ever made it yourself, or is there a place oh, yeah. where you've gotten it where it's really good, and which is better? Um, I mean, I don't remember like brands or anything, but. I know there was a one that used to sell. It had like a white, white packaging with like blue and red lettering, and it was like a some German or you know Polish name like Kork Krok Kroska Swats, whatever. I don't know. Krochka Swats. Krok Krochka Swats, whatever. Kroch Krochka <laughs> Swats. Sweats. But, um, sweats. but they had. I, like I mean, there's there's a lot of different you know brands like. There are like other shit, like hot dogs. You know, there's whatever. Whoever makes hot dogs, they probably have like a scrapple brand. You know what I mean, Hatfield definitely has scrapple. Hatfield brand scrapple puts the best, crapple in your toilet. <laughs> best dollar dog days at the Phillies game. But yeah. Um. So parties. Known each parties. other. Yeah. Fifteen years. Yeah. It's been a while, and then, uh, and then. We we didn't start the first one there, but we ended up going there for the second and so on. But fucking pudding wrestling, that was oh a thing. God. Central Jersey pudding wrestling. Yeah, where? I remember, get, I remember I was there and Jimmy got the call. I was like, hey, uh, we can't do it where we did the first year, but we wanted to know if we can bring women wrestling and chocolate pudding in your backyard. Like really, like, where on what planet Earth would you think that any anybody would say no to that? Like, yeah, hell yeah, of course, it's party. Young twenty something year old dudes and all it, renting and the it just, same. Oh my god, house it was out. it was it was great. I mean, the first one, it started off of a mat with like three cans of pudding, mm -hmm. like you know what I mean, and then it just yeah. evolved. And then I remember the third year was better, and then the fourth it, year we had it Keys only got better. That's all we could do is just get better. Yeah, and then the the fifth year when he had the rain out and the tarp. Yeah. It still, that was still had that, it. And yep. that was the last year there. And then I remember the sixth year was the first year we brought to the uh to the funny, funny farm. farm. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's where and then and, and that's where the, that's you know, we made we made history there. It was, it was classics. That was uh some pretty shit. When when you got people leaving and then you know talking about it months later, that's that's a pretty good feeling, you know, that you you put on something pretty good yeah. there. For people, performer people with, performer with you on stage too. Yeah, but the cool thing was about that is, like, you know, we started in whatever other backyard we did it in, the first one, and then, you know, it was almost like a um, a blessing in disguise for us not being able to do it at the original spot, so we could bring it to Jimmy's, because that event brought us all closer, Oh yeah, and that helped us for the next year, because everyone was into Everybody's it. Every, it. It wasn't just, like... You know, Bree or myself or whoever was like close to to put everything. Everyone wanted to be involved with it, and that's what yep. was awesome. It was this whole like community of people that was like, "I'll do we're, this." We're I'll making make shirts and yep, yep. And then it, it got to the point where we had to have security and and you know people and the bands sitting in bands and we had people running the the stage crew and and the you know, VIP was, came along and we had yeah. Booze for, then we, yeah. we started. We do. We started donating to charity too. We did uh, the Suji G. Komen. Yeah. We did the juvenile diabetes. What was other stuff? We did a bunch of stuff. Well, that that's what that's what got me into wanting to do what I'm doing at Bergen Pack because I liked I liked putting on the event and you know putting on a good show and, and doing that whole behind the scenes thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, Absolutely. and just seeing how everything runs and comes together and, and, you know, just kind of running shit. And then that's, I'm like where I'm going to now is like, that's where I feel like I, I want to be doing shit like that. You know, aside nice. from the editing, like I love doing the editing and stuff and I love making the clips for my clients and shit, but 
just to be able to move and get out of the house, like the behind the scenes shit. And that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's my jam. That's my wheelhouse. Yeah. So, I used to love when you guys I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see where this place can take me. But, um, yeah, no, it was, uh, that was good shit. Everybody had their own jobs. Everybody had their own involvement. It was cool. Yeah, had a blast, man. I remember we did uh, the one year where we did liquor baskets. Mm-hmm. And when I did all those liquor baskets for everybody, that was a cool, that was a cool yep. one, too. Yeah, we had a lot of shit. I, I have footage that I think has never even seen the light of day. Cause, oh, I believe uh, it. There was so I, much of it. The first couple of years, it was like, all right, I spent all this time working on making like a whole DVD of all the matches and shit and this and that and mm-hmm. put music and whatnot. And like either no one would buy them or we yeah. would just watch them like the night before the new wrestling or the day of or whatever. And it was like, eh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going through all this effort for this. And then it just got to the point where any other footage, I would just make trailers for the following year. No, but yeah. And we, we started incorporating bands and shit. That was fun stuff. Yeah. And that, tied, and that that also tied into other stuff too, because that led to like other parties and like we did the um was it the Halloween thing over in um Pennsylvania, whatever it was. Halloween thing in Pennsylvania. One uh, your old guy old your old boss used to work for. Like in his backyard and played like you know, he had like open field and shit. A little fire pit back there and it was it was it was a Halloween party, I think it was. Oh, that was I think Matt's buddy. When Tommy was it Matt's buddy? Okay, maybe I don't know. I'm like drawing a blank. When when Tommy was doing like the Herbert the pervert on the microphone, and... that might have been yeah. That might have been the place in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that. I don't remember it being a Pennsylvania thing. Yeah. Yeah, we, had, we had a blast. What about you, Ron? You had any uh, uh, fond memories of putting wrestling? Um. I just remember being at I just everything that happened in Trenton at 318, you know, Jimmy's place. It's just, it, you know, yeah, with putting wrestling specifically, uh, so many of us made like lifelong acquaintances and friends, and we've stayed in touch since then. And, and it was really because of that. And, and ju- I don't know, it, that, that was like, it was just a whole new world of like people getting together and realizing like it's pretty like we're all pretty close and we stay in touch you know not all the time everybody as, as, as we get older <laughs> it just gets harder and harder to like oh find absolutely time, like go out and do something you know absolutely to well, we to we our and... every weekend it was like yeah it's, where's the party at and it's like same spot or ever same time every year it's gonna be this that Every yep. holiday weekend, we all come together. And, always, yeah. and it was always crazy fun time. Yeah, yeah. We we definitely sent it. Like, we, we definitely maximized the party <laughs> as much as we could. And it's just cool to, like, kind of stay in touch with everybody in some respect. Like, I know these days, it's super weird, like, kind of just, like, follow people on the internet, kind of check in. No, well, yeah, this is, but this, this is cool, though. I, I, once you guys, as soon as you guys started this, I was like, I want to be – a part of at least an episode of this because this is great to catch up this way and just reminisce and it's always fun to reminisce and talk with your buddies you know what i mean like we haven't done shit together the three of us in what a long a long long time you know what i mean yeah because it doesn't really but, make sense to be like hey eddie come over we're just gonna get wasted it's a tuesday night <laughs> like yeah 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 my kid my kids have to be on the bus at seven and eight o'clock in the morning well, so it's see- like, <laughs> That's the thing too. Like you kids, everybody got kids and they're yeah. doing things that life happens. Well, it's, been, Brad, it's been like Brad, five years. How five, old is your daughter years. now? My daughter is 14 years old. So, okay. So, so she, was, yeah, you, she was young when I was still partying with you guys. Yeah. I, I no, no, I remember. Dad. I remember. She but, was, she was, uh, she was sassy. She was funny too when she was younger. Imagine she's still. She's still uh, she came, a riot. She came to, uh, uh, I believe, one or two of the pudding wrestlings that we had at the Funny Farm. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it, it, it was kid-friendly to an extent. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No. No. 
depending on where, depending on what uh, area you were occupying at a certain time. She found the cooler with uh, sprites and Coke bottles and was having like a sprite <laughs> and a Coke, and somebody had pre diluted the Coke and sprite bottles with vodka. Oh, so that was her first time accidentally drinking an adult beverage, and and <laughs> then she had to go home because. <laughs> Well, yeah, she definitely ex- didn't ex- expect ex- it. No, she was. Yeah, she was like six or seven. I feel oh, like she was, I, so. She went for the sh- like just straight chug. She was like glug glug glug. <laughs> no, she just wanted a drink, and and well, yeah. Though that's that was. Uh, I don't even know if I should be saying this on a recording, but that was a really <laughs> bad dad moment. And, oh man. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, like who does that? Who who takes like a. I yeah, don't I don't understand that. Do, I guess people do, but I thought it was especially the... at pudding wrestling. Well, yeah, yeah that... pudding wrestling. <laughs> I should have. I guess I should have known better and just brought my own Capri Suns. Or Dude, whatever. my mom was there. Everybody should <laughs> have known like better. <laughs> yeah, oh, not yeah, I missed moments, that. I but... missed them too. Dude, I I yeah. remember the one the 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 one. I think it might have been either it was the last one or the one before it. And I was talking to my mom about something and I remember she had a glow stick and it was like attached to her shorts or something. And I, and she was wasted. She, my mom was fucking lit. And I'm like, (laughs) you need to go to bed fucking this and that. Just, just go to sleep. And then she's like, "Ah." and then she leaves. And I remember she, I see her walk in and then like, she like walked off into the darkness because she faded out. But then I saw the glow stick and I just followed the glow stick until it went around the tree line. And right before it got out of sight of the tree line, I saw the glow stick fall. And I'm like, what the oh. fuck is that? So I ran over there and then my mom's fucking laying on her back like a goddamn turtle. And if it wasn't for the glow stick, she probably would have been there till this very day. Oh, oh my God. no. Uh, she, no, yeah. she wouldn't be here to this day, but... Did, she would have been there for a while. Yeah, yeah, until someone tripped on her. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> wow, it's Mike's mom. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Good times. Yeah. Pretty wrestling. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, will do that. I mean, shit, we had mosh pish, mosh pishes. <laughs> mosh pishes. <laughs> mosh, mosh pits <laughs> at pudding wrestling, and uh, no one broke a foot. Yeah. No. Damn Oliver Tree. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Damn. <laughs> you to the moon, Alice. Please don't let me down. Oh, God. No. You, so you're familiar with his his uh, his uh music? Oh, yeah. I love Oliver Tree. Yeah, yeah. He's got some good it's, it's, stuff, it's, 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 it's It's funky. It's different. You know what I mean? It's a different yeah. kind of a, kind of a rap. Like, it's it's different. It's like, I don't even call, call it rap. I don't no. know what to call it. But it's, 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 it's definitely out there. Yeah, it's pop. But it's like... Hip hop, hip hop, catchy. Yeah, there is some stuff. Like he does a whole song that's kind of like an old school rap I, song with a fucking. I do dick like the one. Uh, I didn't see that one. It's but, a video. Uh, yeah. I, no, see, I don't, no, I don't even watch a lot of his videos. Sad. I just I just listen to, like Spotify and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, no, I, I like I like his that one song they did with it. Uh, he does with uh, Blink One Eighty Two. That's what I was singing. But uh, he's, yeah, that was cool. Too. He's good. Like he's he's good. Pandemic. He's different. I mean, he's not like he's not. It's not like he. I'm not saying he's great and like he's like my favorite, but nah. he's definitely something something fun to listen to. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's. I think it's. I think that's the best way to describe it. It's. It's fun. Yeah. Because like, he, it's. It's not like serious. It's not like uh, a genre where it's like, oh my god, the music is never the same since he did this. It's like, yeah, no, no, oh, that's just fun. Like, you can, you can listen to like two different, and then yeah, you, know, you can put it away, and then you know, you get back to the rest of it. Yeah, I feel like you listen to like two or three different tracks, and they all sound different too. Like, yeah, you know, his one track doesn't sound like his next track, and the next track doesn't sound like the following track. Like, it's all just out there. Like, it's some slow, and then some it's like really like, you know, eccentric. <laughs> it's only the man is eccentric. Like, come on, look at him. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you get it. You get it. Yeah, you're kind. Of, you're kind of a fan, like I am. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of people have done stuff like that before, and you know, continue to do it like after that because you know like there's like weird al wasn't like he was making parodies obviously but he still had that weird look and everybody was just like ah, i kind of like this i don't know if i should like it but i kind of like it <laughs> it's like an embarrassing thing to like 
Yeah, I, I would even say embarrassing because it's like close to it, right? Like uncomfortably, like I like this, but I'm like, uncomfortable like, telling everybody I like it. Would you bit. agree? Would you agree that you like Nickelback, or would you say no? Nah, I don't like Nickelback because I think everybody shits on Nickelback way too much, and I think Nickelback is actually a decent band. You're right. But nobody <laughs> but wants to just you, be like. But do you admit hey. like you like your Nickelback? Right. It's going to be like, oh, they're good. They're good. Well, true. I, true fans don't admit that they like Nickelback. It's true. Exactly. So I don't like Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> they're terrible. That's like that's song. like Primus. Like uh, if, if you're a true fan of Primus, Here, you're, at, everybody thinks they suck. You know. Here, look at this photograph. I, wait for Primus. <laughs> yeah. I, I think people well, are like Primus. Hey, like they, I'm they sorry to, to like cut Primus. me short, but I, I do have to go. Um, I have to put my children to bed. Yeah, no worries, man. It was awesome catching up with you. We got to do this again. Yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, not not even just for a show, just to talk, just yeah, chit chat, yeah. bullshit. I like this. It. Is awesome. I remember cool. when you were. Uh, and, uh, next time, next time I can bring the kids, you can see my craziness behind me and everything like that too. So, fuck yeah, dude. But uh, it was always, always a pleasure, man. I love you guys. You guys uh, keep in touch, and you know, I hope you guys uh, do good shit with this shit, and I hope you take it to the next level, man. You've been doing some good shit, so. Well, dude, thank keep, you for hanging work, out. Keep, keep working hard, and you know, I'm I'm always working hard. Hey. Hey, I need to get some Cialis to do that always, but we're good. <laughs> Dude, thank you for hanging out with Mike and Rad. Really appreciate always, it. Always, man. Thank you for having me. Hey, man. Pleasure. We'll have you on again. All right. I'll be on. Take care, dude. Later. Later. That was nice. Yeah. I like Eddie. Eddie's just, he's like a big gentle bear you just want to hug him and love oh he him. totally is yep even just when you talk to him like oh man such respect and mm-hmm. love all around yeah he's a cool dude we didn't really get to the bottom of anything we weren't really at the top right yeah so that's uh well what i mean we we did what we were gonna do we we shot the shit we talked about 318 we did pudding wrestling i mean we hit all the marks that's basically what we had you know, that's all it's in the episode five uh, channel. It's just that. Nothing else added. We're still, just like you said, we're still in the birthing phase, man. Our, our heads are still elongated from getting stuck. So, with the plunger. It'll flatten out soon. Or round out, however you want to say it. It's all uphill. <laughs> uphill. 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 It's all the It's all upheaval from here, folks. It's all Thanks upheaval for here. here. Thanks for listening. <laughs> cool man. Cool man. Yeah, I guess we're uh we're all tapped out for right now. We are tapped. Um Yeah. That's it. That's all right, there. everybody. Thanks for listening, watching. Notify that bell. And uh, like subscriptions, such as magazines. They're a dying industry. They need us. Don't forget. Never forget. Never forget. That's right. Never forget, boys and girls. And... Woo! Woo!